Okay, so here we've got Missing Features 2D being played in Nintendo Switch. So here we've got Game Settings. We're going to turn off the CRT monitor effect. Here's Controls. Pretty self explanatory. And here we're at 2D Platformer. I like how the loading. Um, <laughs> the loading of the game is represented by uh, by the game installing. I think it's kind of awesome. <laughs> Fail to configure all systems. Please configure manually, and then you go back into the game. All right, so here's the game. Let's check my missing features. Checking player movement. Okay, jumping, miss, jump missing, double jump missing, player dash missing, player wall jump missing, dangers missing, enemies missing. Checking stage features missing, additional features missing, <laughs> missing features. Okay. So this game takes the idea of um, of the game uh, uh, Evo Land. If you've ever played that, uh, it's a, uh, a series of RPGs where you, as you progress through the game, you unlock various uh, aspects and game mechanics. So this game, um, courtesy of of uh, uh, Cubite, takes that concept, takes that formula, and puts it into a into a, uh, a 2D platformer. Installing Cine Machine. Setting camera component. <laughs> Main camera target player. Setting camera target okay. <laughs> so it's, it's pretty cool. It's got some, some programming jargon there. Um, as it sets things up, sets up the mechanics. It's kind of cool. Setting jump. So very a yeah, very unique way to, to implement um, these kinds of aspects uh, into a <laughs> into a platformer. Um, so we got a jump, cool. Now you can uh, you can jump with B. You can move your character with the left analog stick or the D pad. Creating platforms. So, um, yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm not very. I'm not too far into the game. I, I will admit, I've, I've spent um, quite a bit of time with this, honestly. But it's just. It, I will admit, I have rage quitted more than a couple of times in this game. <laughs> um, but it is. Uh, it is still a lot of fun. Um, but it's just. It's. I don't know. I mean, sometimes the game just doesn't feel all that fair, kind of like cheap, but it's probably just my lack of skill, honestly speaking. <laughs> um, but it, but again, it's still. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll just aside. It is a fun. It is a fun game. Um, can be frustrating, but what you know, what uh, what platformer isn't frustrating at uh, at some point, right? And notice there's no sound effects, there's no music. Uh, you don't have a character sprite yet. You're just a green green, uh, green rectangle here. And there's not even textures on the platforms. And all of that gets unlocked um, as you progress through each stage. Which is really neat. I mean, I really like this concept. And after you complete each level, it unlocks the the, the mechanics you've already unlocked for that level. And these red blocks are dangers. They're I think they're spikes, if I'm not mistaken. This condition not implemented. Press OK to install feature. <laughs> so here's where it's going to install the death condition. Um, so when you hit a spike, yes, those are spikes. Um, you'll die.
Uh, and it is a one hit death. And when you now the thing about this game, another another thing with it that kind of I mean, one of the reasons why I've rage quit it quite a few times with this game already, is that when you die, it starts you back at the very beginning of of the of the level. And it just takes a long time to get back to where you were. Just because the character moves so slow. So, um, yeah. It, that's, that's one of one of my issues with the game is that the character just moves really, really slow. Um, I wish that there were checkpoints in the game, um, or at least maybe an easy mode that gave you checkpoints. <laughs> but then again, it could be that that might be a feature that's unlocked later. Um, that is quite, a, quite, quite, a, quite literally a possibility that I hadn't considered till just now. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's it's a little frustrating when you die and. Uh, you start back from the very beginning. Okay, so we have moving platforms. I'm gonna wait for the platform to come back. But, I mean, uh, I definitely would highly recommend the game. I mean, the game is a lot of fun. Yes, it's frustrating. But it is it is one of the... Um, uh, one of the... Uh, better platformers that I've played in, in, in quite some time. I like the, the implementation of the various um, aspects you can unlock. I think it's fair. <laughs> of course I fall right into the spikes. Here we go. So I died and I started back at the very beginning of the level. So uh, so yeah, like I was saying, um, I, I like the implementation of unlocking things as you progress through the game. It gives you a sense of, of progression it lets you see, you know, how, like, I mean, it not not necessarily, like, the intricacies of how a game is, cre is created, but it gives you kind of a, kind of a glimpse into, uh, into game development. I think it's really cool uh, that it does that. Uh, of course, I should have waited for that platform. And again, no, uh, no sound effects, no music. <laughs> but that does get unlocked. As you progress. And I don't recall the next thing you unlock. I think it's... Yeah, I don't recall. This next part actually uh, frustrated me. Frustrated me for at least an hour. Ooh, I'll show you. It's coming up. It's actually right up here. So because of how slow the character moves, um. These spike blocks, if you will, um, I couldn't predict the uh, the uh, pattern, and so I kept dying. I kept having to come all the way back over here. And it was just a pain in the butt. But since knowing the pattern, it's become easier. I still do occasionally. Okay, cool, never mind. <laughs> Did it. Awesome. Okay. Lots of danger. <laughs> oh, of course. I knew it. I jumped too soon. And all that work, we come back to the very beginning. So you see how it can be frustrating, right? <laughs> I mean, to get it that far, and then, oh, look, you died. Then you get all, you go all the way back to the beginning. 
Uh, very, very frustrating. But uh, I'm going to end the review here, guys. I want to thank um, uh, Qubit, uh, Qubyte for the review of the game. Um, I cannot recommend the game enough, despite its its moments of frustration. <laughs> uh, you know, you get a great platformer um, that kind of gives you a glimpse into game development, which is really neat, and a, a sense of progression with the various um, uh, unlockable elements as you complete each stage. So, um, again, highly recommend the game. Definitely worth playing. Um, I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, <laughs> take care and happy gaming.